My wife and I love that umbrella guy. Oh, we love that umbrella guy. Hey there. So if you love that umbrella guy too, make sure that you sub. Make sure you hit that bell for daily notifications. And if you want to go further, well, there are links in the description. More on that at the end of the video. So today I want to return to one of those initial brigaders. One that said they're out of all of this. You know, because they had moved on. They were going to check out to greener pastures. Only greener pastures, of course, they don't carry the current year clap. Well, you know what I mean by that too. If you haven't caught that yet, I'm talking about the little clap emoji. You know that one you see every now and then? Well, that's what these folks want. I mean, when they go out and post, you know what they love? They love this they love that reshare. They basically, they will do anything before it. This person too, Mars Girl, that's the person that kicked off hashtag kick Vic. Literally kicked it off, started that whole process. Well, again, said they had moved on. But of course, you know, when you see that attention waning, you gotta go start back in. Now, it's been funny how desperate kick Vic has been lately. I mean, when you see them going out and trying to dredge up controversy, it's pretty interesting to see what's being shared again. And of course, in that, how that actually ends. Because you always have to remember that if you make the wrong move, SJWs, they will eat their own. It's a beautiful thing sometimes. The cannibalism you know, of current year. 280 character culture turning on you. Basically no matter what you do right, you also do wrong. And that that's going to be basically the icing on this way, way back stint. So here we see stuff that is being shared from 2016 and 2017 and it's William Shatter. William Shatter is talking about Star Trek Continues. Now you'll notice that he puts out in 2017 that Star Trek Continues is blocked. They used images from uh, Star Trek to promote their series. I met the actor that played Kirk during a con. We took a picture and he ended up doing panels using that picture to say I taught him to play Kirk. What would you expect my opinion to be? All right, so there was a problem with that. They did not have a wonderful interaction and on. You can see that, too, when this also is put up there. You can see how that's carried. You know, Vic Mignogna, you're using uh, your fundraising with my picture as if I'm part of it. I'm not. That's not cool. And you can see this picture here. You know, the outline for was submitted April 1966, showing, you know, Kurt everybody from the original. The other Howard sibling, Clint, was the guest star, and it originally aired uh, November uh, November the 10th, 1966. Fame, uh, favorite moment. And then you see the link there. Now, Vic, who was tagged in there, says, hey, yo, deepest apologize. We've been uh, removing these images, and someone missed this one. So sorry for the confusion on that. You know, I don't want that happening, so I'm going to try to say that. So, you know, you have the disagreement that continues here. Vic Mignogna, this is not the first time it happened, but it better be the last time. Am I clear? And you can see the other name being tagged in here. Fans keep asking if we are sh getting shut down. We want you to know that, uh, that we have not been asked to uh, stop making the episodes you've come to enjoy so much. Don't be afraid to contribute. Our campaign is nearing an end, but there is still time to make a difference. We have always been the best stewards of our fans' generous donations, and that will never change. So you can see that set up there. You can see that, and there was a picture here. Now, like I said, it was an older thing. You know, it came up there. You could see the conversation there and on. I could say there. And you can also see, you know, as that went forward right in that too, you could see Vic actually answering with this as well, saying absolutely to that. You know, we're going to get this done. We're going to remove all of that. We want this all taken care of. You know, people have been working all weekend to remove any and all of them. Again, sincerest apologies. So not only 
Does Kick Vic need something, you know, to go for, to try to find a win here? You can see all of that retweeting and on. But, ah, uh, when you go back and you see certain things, well, you start finding items like this. And like I said, I always love how there's a little blast from the past where, uh, you know, when you're going back there and you see people that are saying, ah, oh, let me use this, they also, it's like juggling dynamite when you deal with the folks that these folks dance with. I mean, if you look at their dance partner, here. Yeah, sure, you can make one heck of a spectacle with juggling dynamite, but sometimes that comes at the cost of, well, blowing yourself up. Here you have a comment that, of course, you can see how that's starting to move forward. Mars Girl, retweet more from a guy who lambasts quote-unquote SJWs and who thinks that Me Too went too far. So, you know, again, even though the uh, people from Kick Vic are trying to uh, go in and trying to find a win, well, they can't find a win for losing. You can see the article there, too. William Shatner attacks snowflakes, social justice warriors, and misandrists. You know, and you can see the way that that's set up. You see that there's not really any commentary there. But yeah, apparently that's enough. These folks, they know. They know how that will go. So of course you gotta head that off. Cool. All the more reason to think it's interesting that the guy can't get along with another guy who's uh, through his actions clearly shows he feels the same way. He feels the same way about what exactly? He feels the same way that uh, people like yourself went out and tried to tear his life down. I mean, can you imagine if these people in the commentary here actually were trying to tear down your life and livelihood? Can you imagine if they were going to torch it? Because that could have happened very, very easily. Why can't we enjoy two a-holes arguing each other online for our enjoyment? I mean, you see that there. Lots of people need to take a few deep breaths and remember that while we may enjoy the work they do, actors are people and that they are not their characters. And some actors probably have different views than you do. Doesn't mean you can't enjoy their work. Well, unfortunately, you know, when you go out and you see people like voice actors these days, it's starting to feel like you probably can't enjoy their work. Not because they have different feelings about the landscape out there, but because basically they will go out and they will channel something like a Mars girl. They will channel attacks on whomever because, hey, why not go out there and attack? You know, you're always going to get support, right? That's how the voice actors feel. They feel that they're rock stars. You know, at least the ones we see out there, you know, that have been prominent kick vickers. Oh, yeah, those people, they also, they seem to be kick fanners. William Shatner doesn't like SJW, so he must be wrong about unrelated things as well. Wow, love that there. Also, crotchety old man is crotchety. What news? I think some of what he said in the article may have been taken out of context, like what happened with Reuben Langdon recently. Ooh, you better be careful with the Reuben Langdons there. Oh, no. Shatner has always been an a-hole. This is a known thing. Who cares? This is also true. So you see, you know, watching bad people fight each other is always fun. But you notice, like I said, you see how that's dealt with here. That's dealt with an, oh my God, these people, they might actually turn on me. So, of course, I have to uh, not only say something about that, but, I mean, when I'm retweeting, I bet you money that that doesn't come up again. I bet you we don't see another retweet from that stuff. Nope, we're probably not going to see any more at all. Oh no, we don't. Here's the next one. We're on to something else. Why are we on to something else? Because of course, like I say, certain people will turn on it. SJWs always eat their own, and it's quite amazing to watch. Oh, but I thought that this was kind of interesting because of two things there. Number one, the dredging up of the past. Like I said, all of this stuff coming 
coming up here? Does this have anything to do with what's happening right now? No, it has to do with someone utilizing a picture, someone not liking it out there because that's their image. I can understand why they wouldn't want that. You know, hey, Captain Kirk wants to get paid. Okay, that's cool. He wants to get paid there. They have a disagreement. Vic Mignogna was actually quite nice about that. And well, there's still some disagreement. Great. You know, does that have to do with what we're talking about here these days? No, but of course, they make it about that. They make this stuff about that. Because if they can make this stuff about that, well then, you know, hey, William Shatner hates the guy. There must be something wrong. But again, of course, when you're SJW like this, when you go out and you try to burn things down, ah, you're just a stone's throw away from somebody setting your stuff on fire from your same side. Those folks, they will tear you down too. If that's a lesson that these folks never learn, well, I welcome it, you know, because it's always interesting, like I say, to watch them fear their own because, of course, they do indeed eat their own. But tell me what you think about this kind of stuff. If you like this kind of content too make sure that you hit that uh, subscribe button make sure you smack that bell for daily notifications smack it good there whip it good also check out the links in the description they definitely help channels out not just this one but other channels as well also if you want to leave comments pro or con make sure that you do i want to see what you think agree disagree with stuff still i appreciate that also to end this i want to say like i do every time that i appreciate you showing up. These folks out there, those people, you know, those voice actors especially that we're seeing, they have forgotten one thing, what made their endeavors possible. Me, I don't want to forget that. People showing up, people actually supporting what you do, that should be appreciated. It should be appreciated every time people do it too. So, I want to end this saying thank you for showing up, thank you for leaving comments, and thank you for making this endeavor, this channel, or everything else that you participate in possible. Also, check out the GoFundMe for uh, Vic Mignogna as well. Make sure that you support that because, well, it's going to be an interesting thing to watch this stuff move forward. And saying thank you, I want to end that, and, you know, we'll do this again soon. Thanks.